Michigan's David Ojabo went from an unheard member of a team coming off of a 2-4 season to a superstar on a team that made the college football playoff. Ojabo is a raw but talented edge rusher who dominated this year, totaling 11 sacks on the season. He did play second fiddle to Aiden Hutchinson, but he was still named a member of the All-Big 12 team. As he continues to grow and learn more about the game, there's no reason Ojabo can't become one of the best pass rushers in the league. Ojabo has athleticism you just can't teach. What he lacks in experience and knowledge of the game, he makes up for in pure talent. At 6'5 and 250 pounds, Ojabo is a freak of nature and is in the mold of many of the top defensive ends in the NFL in terms of physical talent. When at his best, he's unblockable. It didn't matter if he went to the inside, outside, or right through you, there was no way an offensive lineman could keep him in front. Ojabo didn't start playing football until his junior year in high school as he spent his early years in Nigeria and Scotland. He's just scratching the surface of what he can become as a player, and the term getting better every game is as true as it can get for Ojabo. He might need a season or two to become a big time player, but in terms of potential, Ojabo is a top three or four prospect in this class. A former high school state champion in the 100 meter dash, Ojabo's burst is legendary. It's some of the best you'll ever see in a defensive end. He's a little more versatile when he's standing up and not having his hand in the dirt, but either way, he's incredibly quick off the line and he channels his track background and shoots out of his stance like a cannon. Ojabo will create one-on-one -on -one mismatches right away due to his speed off the edge. One thing that Ojabo has trouble with is reacting to what the offensive tackle is giving to him as a pass rusher. Typically, Ojabo had a great burst and a solid plan for his first move, but if that was shut down, he lacked a counter move. Because of this, too many times he was stood up and got absolutely no penetration. Ojabo is young and does struggle with his strength a little bit. That lack of strength does show up on film sometimes, so he might not be ready to produce right away until he gets into a real offseason program and starts to build, but he's so skilled you, you gotta find ways to put him on the field even if it's only in pass rushing situations where he doesn't have to hold up against the run. The guy you see in year one won't be the guy you see in year three with Ojabo. Uh, any organization has to be patient in developing a, a super talented guy like him. He's not going to come and set the world on fire right away, but there's a lot of potential down the road. He might not be the all-around player that Aiden Hutchinson is or, or some of the other edge players, but his ceiling is super high, and I think a lot of teams are going to gravitate towards that and give him a shot, and he should go in the first half of the first round of the NFL draft. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching all the way through. Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know someone, a scheme, idea, person who you want to see broken down here in the future. I'm also releasing a speaking football course that goes over the basics of the language of football, what techniques are, what alignments are. So if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description.